Hello and welcome to EGW Writing's Tech Tips. I'm your host, Daryl Thompson. Thank you for joining us today in another of our series on learning how to use the new EGW Writing's website. Now I'm going to show you something that's unique to this new website, and that is your ability to be able to look up all the titles for a particular book that are available. And I'm going to get you to look here with me at the opening main menu of the new EGW Writings website. Now right here in the tiles at the top, you will see titles. So we're going to select that. We're going to click on titles. And if I want to show you an Ellen White book, so let's, let's click on books here. And it says select a book or a title to view in all available languages. So yes, yeah, so I'll click OK. And I'm going to look here in Acts of the Apostles. So I'll select Acts of the Apostles. And it will instantly list all the languages that we have available in Acts of the Apostles. Now if I want to go to another book, I can scroll up and down the crumb trail here, which is underneath the title, and go to another uh, book title, so maybe like Christ Object Lessons, and you can see all the titles that are listed here under Christ Object Lessons. Now, of course, you're saying, well, is there any other way of navigating to this? Yes, there is, and that is in the tree. So if I click on the little folder tree icon here and expose the tree, you can see that at the end of the title search, there's a little icon. And that little icon there, you can change between three modes. There is what I'm currently in, and that is title mode. So the tree is listed by titles, because you can see here that I have titles, and then I have books, and then I have the book. And then under Christ Object Lessons, it's listed by language. So I have all the book titles listed here. So like I might be in Acts of the Apostles. Underneath Acts of the Apostles, you can see that we have all the, the, the languages listed under Acts of the Apostles. If I want to go to like Avenist Home, okay, you would see over in the tree here that I have listed all of the titles under uh, Avenist Home right here. Now, the other modes are exposed right under this little switch, and I can switch between. So that was the mode that you're used to, in which you see all the books listed under a language. This one here is the category, and you see the books that are listed within the category. So you can see this. And then this mode is books listed under the language. Okay, so that is title search. It enables me to go through and look for a book, and all the books, in fact, that are available within the language. Now, if I want to filter down to a different book, I can come back and I will just click into titles here. Maybe it's in the devotionals. And let's see, let's have a look at From the Heart. And we can see here, these are the books that are available in From the Heart. So you can see here in the devotional, so you can see all the languages that we have available in From the Heart devotional. And then over on the left here, you, you can't see here what language this is. You know, you're not sure. You can click here and see the two letter code if you hover over it. So this is IT for Italian. To hover over this, this is ZH for the international two letter language code for Chinese. But if you're not sure, then if you look over in the tree, it will tell you what these languages are. So you have Chinese, Italian, Russian and Ukrainian and English. So they're, the, they're your languages. So you can always use the combination of the tree and the bookshelf to discover. All right, so that is how you use title navigation in the new EGW Writings website to discover if whatever language that you're in is your default language, you can look what other languages that this book is available in by going to the title and then navigating to the book and then looking up what languages are available. Thanks for joining us now. Hope this is a new special little treat that we've added into a new feature into the site that you can use to share with friends, maybe that don't speak the same language, or maybe you're bilingual yourself. And so it's a useful feature. Okay, thanks for joining us now. Have a blessed day. Bye for now. <music>